Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pujagi, and embroidery. The Churn Dash Quilt Block, also called Monkey Wrench, is another great quilt block. It's a traditional block, but there are so many variations. It can be used in traditional quilts and modern quilts. This block is easy to put together with simple shapes. So this is a 12 and a half inch block, so it'll finish at 12 inches. So to make one of those, you're gonna need just some uh, two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangles. You'll need four each of two colors, and you will need one four and a half inch square of background color, and you'll need four um, half square triangle units four and a half inches. You can use whatever method you want to make these half square triangle units. For this method, I would recommend the two at a time method where you make squares, mark the diagonal. You can check the whole tutorial for this in a lot of detail and you can see um, links to other methods for making this half square triangle unit. So use whatever method you want, but at this stage they should be four and a half inches square. Then to begin, we're just gonna join these rectangles in pairs with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then you're gonna end up with four pieces that look like this. So once you have four pieces that look like this, we're just gonna lay it out in the orientation of the block. So our background uh, fabric square goes in the middle. And then these corner pieces all point in toward the center and then these pieces go um, so that the feature fabric is toward the center. And once we have these joined together, once we have these laid out, then we'll take it to the sewing machine and we will join these together in pairs and then add this piece into rows and then stitch the rows together. And that's how simple it is to make a churn dash block. Now you can see this churn dash block used in quilts. I've used it in my um, nine patch sampler quilt. You can see that in multiple colors and in my row by row sampler quilt where I used six inch blocks. Those are all great quilts and you can click the links below to find more details about those quilts. If you like the Churn Dash quilt block, be sure to check out my Churn Dash inspiration workbook. This gives a tutorial for how to make the block, including measurements for how to make it in different sizes. It gives a bunch of quilt diagrams that show different colorways and designs that you can use this block. And it gives coloring pages that you can use to design your own Churn Dash blocks. So be sure to check this out. There's a link below. And I would love to see what you come up with making with the churn dash block.